To all who come to this happy place, welcome. Please stand clear of the doors. For favor, manténganse alejados. This is his year's a wild ride in the history. So today on Miles from Main Street, we are doing a year in review. It's just about that time. We're about to get to the new year, and uh, we want to do a little reflection on what we've done and what this year has brought. Uh, I know just in my personal life, it's been uh, a very eventful year and uh, a very fun and happy year, uh, and I've tried to fill it with Disney as much as possible. So uh, I've been really happy about that. What about you, Brian? Uh, it's been a very eventful year. Um, I've, you know, personally, it's been some different things going on, and and Disney has been a great escape to have during that time. So, I appreciate having this podcast, and I'm looking forward to looking back. Looking forward to looking back. And I yes, appreciate I you too, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah. Um. We don't need to have the love fest right now. We'll do that after the oh, show. Oh, I'm love festing. <laughs> <laughs> this is the love. Welcome to the love fest. <laughs> yes. Um. So you guys always hear me say, please share the show. Let someone know. Uh, it really has helped us this year. Um, sharing it with somebody has really helped us start to grow. And I would really like to just say thank you for going out and sharing it. I don't know that there's anything I can do to thank you all enough for the help, but if you find it in your heart to continue to help us, it would be great if you would go out and share it again. So thank you so much for sharing and go share it again. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Um, just for listening. If you've, if you've listened this far into the podcast, uh, most likely you're going to listen a good amount more. Um, and, yeah, you guys, you guys are the real heroes of this podcast. Thank you so much. Um, it's it's really weird to know that like we have people actually listening to us <laughs> talk about <laughs> Disney World, but um, it's something we like to do, and we want to keep doing it. Uh, anyways, so we are gonna go ahead and talk about uh, the first thing we're gonna talk about are uh, within this year, twenty twenty two, what our most popular episodes were. Yeah, so our most popular episodes, you know, it's been such a interesting year. There, we definitely are starting to hone in on what you guys like, and what you don't like, and with you know, like what you guys are liking, and you know, we're seeing a lot of great downloads happening. And the best episode we had during the year was our Disney Halloween and Haunted Mansion merchandise hunt. Uh, that was done back in uh, at the end of August, and we had both of our significant others on the show with us to talk about running around all crazy looking for Haunted Mansion and Halloween merchandise. Um, and it was a really great time talking about that, having them on the show. Uh, so, you know, uh, yeah, that was great. I hope you guys learned some stuff and found some tricks for yourselves. Yeah, that was a fun one. And <clears throat> I think some of our best episodes come from the things that we're doing and that we're like uber interested in and this was definitely one of them i know that i just in the process of doing all of this uh had so much fun like going to lowe's and trying to find all of the different haunted mansion things and just like going on that adventure to like find this stuff um was a lot of fun multiple multiple yeah multiple like more than two more more than yeah <laughs> more than you'd think <laughs> yeah <laughs> but yeah just kind of like us bringing the family along and everything like that i i had a lot of fun um doing that so hopefully that translated to the the podcast and the episode that we did i mean I, obviously i i think it did um if people people enjoyed it as much as they did, uh, but I did truly enjoy making it and doing all that stuff. Yeah, absolutely. The it's a great it was a great time talking about our experiences and, um, you know, and we see that in some of the other things that we do uh, that you guys are enjoying that type of stuff. So 
Um, but other spot, another spot would be the Disney World versus Universal Studios uh, episode. Um, that one did really well this year, and that one is a joy for me to make because it gave, gave me a chance to talk bad about Universal <laughs> Studios. <laughs> Yeah, and and that one that one I thought was fun too because it's just kind of like one of those hot button issues that like you could talk forever about like who which one's better Universal or Disney. I think we both know the one that that we would side with. Uh but yeah, I ha- I had a lot of fun making that one and kind of like going into like the different like the different reasons why why Disney is so great uh and why it's better than Universal. Um so yeah, that one was a good one. And, I, and again, it was just kind of like one of those hot button type things that was like, it was cool to make and I'm sure it was cool for people to listen to. So, Absolutely. Like I said, it gave me a chance to talk badly about Universal Studios, that park that I don't care to talk about. Um, but we had, you know, a lot of great discussion in there and, you know, you had just been there on one of your many many trips Mm -hmm. and uh it gave us a good perspective to have while we were talking about it so we'll definitely try to bring you more like that another one that did well um our disney our disney's deluxe oh my goodness (laughs) our disney's deluxe resorts worth it uh that one did well as well uh this was back done back in may um I had the opportunity to stay at the Contemporary last year, and Mikhailo was able to walk around a lot of them and visit a lot of them. And it gave us the chance to kind of talk about what you get out of a deluxe versus the rest of the uh, resorts at Disney World. Um, So if you are looking for information on deluxe resorts and whether you want to stay there, Definitely, definitely go check out that episode. You're going to find a lot of great information in there. Yeah, and I definitely thought that one was very informational. And I honestly, and it's funny, what you you guys don't really see kind of like the behind the scenes stuff that Brian and I do. But like, as soon as we see each other in these meetings, and just so you guys know, we're not actually in the same room. <laughs> we are no. actually very far away from each other uh, in the grand scheme of Wisconsin. Um we are we are on um a Google Meet and we're looking at each other like basically in a Zoom meeting. Um but like as soon as we get on and we start talking, it's like Disney. It's like Disney starts right away. Um we we make this joke all the time that like we're blown through content. Um but this was one of the episodes where it was like I genuinely wanted to hear what Brian had to say. <laughs> Because like that it's that's just something that I've always wanted to do was um stay at the contemporary and and stay at a deluxe resort. So um yeah, definitely definitely enjoyed that one. So the the next portion of the episode, we're actually gonna go over our favorite episode that we've done in twenty twenty two. Twenty twenty two, Brian. You can't go any further than twenty twenty two. Um and Mine, I think I'm going to go with uh, the guide to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Um, I really enjoyed uh, making this one um, and really just kind of like digging into like how you go about this area. And it wasn't even like I love digging into uh, like how to do a park, like what to hit first, what to rope drop, where to go, when. Um, I love that stuff. And we were able to do that with this like small little area of the park. Uh, But that's just so jam packed with like all the things you can do. Um, So I enjoyed that one, just kind of like figuring out how to do stuff and like what rides to do and and stuff like that. It was, it was a lot of fun for me. Yeah, that was a lot of fun to do. Um, You know, galaxy's edge has, has been a very popular spot. uh, And I think, kind of having information out there that allows you to understand what you're getting getting yourself into when you go there um, is really important. And having that guide um, was a lot of fun to put together and, and just include general information as you're out there. So 
um, you know, it's it's hard to realize that there's a place to build a lightsaber and to go buy a lightsaber if you don't want to build it. And there's a separate place for um, droids, right? Um, and, you know, like, just knowing all that as you go in, I think it's very important to know that type of stuff. Um, there's plenty of shops. The marketplace is so cool there. Um, and, you know, like, I'm really excited and we're not supposed to be looking forward yet, yes. and we're gonna we're gonna get to that. But I'm <laughs> so excited to meet like Boba Fett and Mandalorian and Sh- Fennec Shand when we get there uh, at, to Disneyland. But um, you know, like it's just so cool the different things they've built off of the ca- ga- off of Galaxy's Edge, and maybe we need to revisit that a little bit and talk about some of the updates they've made and. Um, different things that we that we experience when we go to Disneyland. Yeah, I, I, I think that would be great. That would be a great idea. Um, yeah. So, Brian, what was your favorite episode this year? I think you probably know this one, but I was so, so excited to be able to talk to Kay Mallins. <laughs> Kay Mallins is the head of the Hometown Museum in Marceline, Missouri, uh, and we got the opportunity to sit down and speak with her at the museum and just a wonderful, wonderful person uh, has so many great stories about Walt and his brother, Roy um, and just what she's built there with the museum and the park next door and some of the items that they're getting within Marceline. Um, You know, I, I really, really recommend going and listening to that episode because um she's just so so full of knowledge and has so many great stories she's she's a terrific storyteller and you know being able to talk to her that day was a lot of fun yeah i agree that that whole trip was a lot of fun um but yeah doing that episode was very cool we actually got to record that in the hometown museum uh so that was that was very fun um getting the whole rig sound rig to go mobile was <laughs> was yeah. Uh that was a trick, but <laughs> we figured it out and <laughs> we, we did it. So <laughs> I was super nervous. Um and we so we were in the hotel the night before and I said, I want to make sure everything's working. Can we make sure everything's working? And we kind of turned things on and I don't remember what I said, but I said like I think I said let's just record a little something to make sure. And like that set off another extra hour of work on Mikhailo's <laughs> part to make sure everything was working. Um, cause like when you walk into these interviews, you just got to set up and go, you mm-hmm. can't sit there and troubleshoot. So, um, it was, it was quite an experience to then get into that conference room. Uh, it was after hours, the, the museum had just closed. Um, and she was, you know, we were watching some of the people, this, this conference room, overlooks this beautiful park that she's been working on and it was prom night (laughs) in town (laughs) and so all the prom dates were out in this park doing a lot of pictures around the the pond they have and she was you know looking out this second story window of this conference room looking at that and she's just kind of throwing out these little tidbits. And the one thing that I remember that I can't wait to look for when we get to Disneyland is she said that the railing on the bridge over the pond is the exact same thing that they have at Disneyland. Mm. And these are like little details. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, we always talk about the details that the Imagineers include. Like she's doing the same exact thing <laughs> with her with her railings and with all these little things she includes in the museum. Um, as you can see, I'm still excited about it. Like I got to go there four years ago and then I took Mikhailo recently and I was so excited about being there a second time and having the opportunity to sit down and and talk to Kay. Um, it was, it was just, when we put that episode out, I, I spent money to try to get it out to people. (laughs) I was just so proud of it when it got done. And so, you know, like I really hope that everyone will go and check that out again because it's just a wonderful, wonderful episode. Yeah. And that, that whole trip was a lot of fun. I remember like 
we walked down Main Street and looked at all the shops there and just kind of like got like the gist of like that Main Street. Um, I think Coke Corner um, is kind of like one of the corners there. And so we, we went there and uh, there's like a Coke mural in there um, that I think uh, they have that on Main Street or something like there was something significant about it, that. Yeah. So the the Coke Corner, what? What he's talking about is the Zercher building in Marceline. That's the building that they used as the reference for re- what's now a refreshment mm-hmm. corner at Disneyland. And um, in the back was a mural that was put there by Coke back in the early 1900s. And um, they've since restored it. They actually got Coca-Cola to come out. And I think we talk about this a little bit in one of our podcasts about Marceline, but they, they got the Coca-Cola company to come out and redo it. But also included in that is the, um, the funeral company that Roy worked for that Walt would go along and play dead in the hearse (laughs) (laughs) while Roy was working. And she talks about that in the, uh, episode that we did. Um, it's just one of those little stories that he would tell. And um, so that was the significance of that. But then there's also the Uptown Theater that we got to um, go check out. We couldn't get inside, <laughs> but um, we did get to see outside. And that's where they had the Spirit of Mickey back in the 90s. or uh, No, it was 2002. That's what it mm-hmm. was, right? Yep. And they also did the premiere. Oh, I can't remember the premiere. There's another premiere they did where Walt actually brought a film back. Um, He brought it back to town, and they showed it all night long (laughs) to make sure every person in town was able to see it. Um, So lots of history there. Um, We had a lot of fun at that barn. Here we are. Okay, so behind the scenes, as we like to talk about once in a while... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Prior to the show, we were going to talk about um, different parts of the year, and we definitely said we needed a moment with Marceline. Mm-hmm. Well, we, I, I think we've kind of taken our uh, favorites and turned it into Marceline. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for sure. I would agree with that. Yeah, but the barn, like, I know you kind of felt moved there, um, which... I I always have, and we got to sign her name inside, mm-hmm. and um, you know I I I just love going to that barn and the farm and look you know I think more so I like where the dreaming tree was, mm-hmm. um, and checking out that site. Yeah, I really enjoyed all all of that. Just kind of like going and seeing the dreaming tree. That's actually now becoming a big part of. Uh, uh, Toontown out in Disneyland. So it's cool, like knowing these things and kind of like learning these things about Disney a lot deeper than just like movies or parks. Um, and so that's kind of what I got from from that trip, being able to go to these places. But yeah, I definitely was def was very moved by um the barn and kind of seeing all the different um uh, signatures there. I I found a couple of ones that I, I really wanted to see. I saw Adam the Woos, uh, Justin Scard. Uh, I think we found Tim Tracker at one point. Um, I think those were the, the three big ones that we were, we were able to find. Uh, and then you just see like random Imagineers <laughs> that, that were there that w- that would sign and just random um, artists that will come in, sign and pay their, it was, it was as if they were like paying their respects to, to Walt. Uh, almost kind of like like a like a burial area, um, so yeah, it it definitely moved me in several ways, uh, and uh, I had a lot of fun on that trip. It was it was great, and it was great bonding uh, with my friend Brian, which I always enjoy. That yeah, we had a good time uh, broing out, as <laughs> Mikhailo said we had to do. Um, one little tidbit: I don't know that we ever mentioned this part, but when we were. <laughs> Oh boy! So the hotel we stayed we, in—we can't tell them this, Brian. <laughs> we can tell them this. The hotel we stayed in was across from a Casey's uh, general <laughs> store, um, and I'm not going to tell them about you needing to have pizza. Um, I need pizza now. That pizza. <laughs> well, yeah, 
You're, it, it, you're right down the street from a Casey's. <laughs> anyway, he was like so hell bent on Casey's that we had to go get a Casey's pizza that first night. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the dollar store that was across <laughs> the street. <laughs> it, was a, it was Dollar General. And we were walking through kind of just looking at what they had, I guess. I don't remember what we were actually looking for, but we came across those little um, Walmart used to sell them for 50 cents, but I think they've gone up to about a dollar and a quarter now. Um, But they're cheap little plastic cups that are great for kid parties. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what they're they're meant for. But they had some Mickey and Minnie ones on the counter or on, on a shelf, and I said, resort mug. <laughs> <laughs> so we each got one. Yes, we all got um, one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and my kids use them still today, so. <laughs> That's good to hear. Yeah. That, it, uh, yeah. It was, it was a fun trip all around. That was, that was one of the funnier moments. <laughs> I always think of it as like a Disney on the dime trip, because... <laughs> Yeah. It's kind of cheap to go there. So um anyways, so yeah. Anyways, uh talking about trips, Brian, I took 3 trips to Disney this year. How many trips did you take to Disney this year? Wah, wah, wah. That's right. I did not get to Disney this past year. Boo. Boo this I man. Know. It was like I said, it's been an eventful year. Um, we've had a lot going on, and we did take for our twentieth anniversary. Um, I went to my wife and I said, "We gotta start planning a trip to Disney World." And I was gonna go all out. We're staying at Polly. We're gonna get tickets every single day. We're gonna um, stay club level, and we're gonna do the whole shebang, right? And she says, "I don't want to go to Disney World." And I said, okay, we'll go to Disneyland then. And she said, no. So anyway, we went to Mexico. <laughs> and yeah, no, it was, it was, um, it was an incredible time. I would definitely go do it again. Um, you know, I, when she said she wanted to go to Mexico, I said, yeah. And then when we, as soon as we're done, we'll head over to Norway. But. <laughs> That didn't go over either. Mm. Um, so, but anyway, we went to Mexico, and based on the year we have, without getting too personal about it, um, it was a well timed trip because it was relaxing. Um, it allowed us to recharge and and you know finish out this year. Um, and I think next year's got some bright spots ahead for us. And you know, we didn't get to Disney this year, but we're getting there early this next year. So. Um, you know, I would, I would recommend going to Mexico though, uh, if you want to go for a stay like that, because it's good. It was fun. No, no, that's not what we're here to talk about, Brian. <laughs> don't it's don't okay. listen to it's this okay. guy. <laughs> we we have a sponsor that would actually. I I bet she could do a Mexico trip. <laughs> like she would do a yeah. Mexico. Yes, absolutely. But she would love to. But she specializes in Disney trips. She sure does. And Melissa Pilgrim with Ears of Experience has been a great, great help for us this year. Um, she's been uh, right there helping us with some advertisements. Um, and we've been trying to get her name out as much as we can. So um, if you could please go and support her as well so that we can keep doing this, uh, it would be great. Let her know that we're... Um, so tell her that we sent you. Um, she helped me with our Disneyland tickets, and it was invalu- invaluable help. Her services are free, and it's definitely worth giving her a call. Yeah, she's she's been really great to work with, and uh, we wish nothing but the best for Melissa. Anyways, let's get to the person who actually went to Disney this year. That's me. Um, so I went to Disney three times this year. Um, the first time, uh, was super early. Uh, we went around January of this year. Um, show off. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, 
Yeah, it's it's January is always a really great time to go anyways, um, because it's a little the crowds are a little less, um, and we were still kind of like running on the tail end of uh, twenty twenty. So <coughs> I'm pretty sure when we went, you still needed to wear masks um, and stuff like that. So we were still kind of like having COVID, like the COVID stuff was still happening. And then the second time I went uh, was May. And uh, a little certain something happened uh, on that trip. I actually proposed to my uh, girlfriend at the time. She's now she's my fiance. Um, and that one we that one was interesting because we made it like a weekend trip. Um, I took like uh, I think it was yeah just Friday off of work. And we flew out there Friday. Um, I took Friday and then Monday off of work. So it was just like a little bit of an elongated weekend. Um, and I actually, I had a lot of fun on that just like weekend trip. We didn't go anywhere except for Magic Kingdom uh, on that trip. So it was just, we went to Magic Kingdom twice, once for the actual proposal. And then the second time, like just to go to Magic Kingdom. Um, so that, that was nice. And and I, with it just being a weekend trip, I still had a lot of fun. Um, so I think we're going to try to do those short weekend trips more we might um we might try to go two times this next year one of them being a short trip um which we're going to talk about that um a li- in a little bit and then one longer trip so uh we'll, we'll see how it comes out uh but then the third trip we took uh, around halloween uh that was in september and um it was right when uh, Mickey's not so scary started, and that was kind of what we wanted to do. Is we wanted to get, we wanted to experience Disney during Halloween, um, and so that's when we went. We had a lot of fun doing um, uh, Mickey's not so scary, everything like that. We kind of we learned a lot on that trip, and we learned that like you can really you can tire yourself out really quick when you're at Disney, and there's really no time to like catch your breath. Um, at least the way that we do, we do Disney. You can totally, <laughs> you can catch your breath at Disney. Um, but the way that we do is do, do Disney is we're just like running through the parks. Um, and so we, we learned that you like, you really can't go like all out, like the entire time. Like you have to have downtime, um, where, where you can rest and stuff like that. So we learned that on, on the last trip that we went on, <clears throat> um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun at all of them. the The last trip we went, we learned a lot about DVC. We were we were able to tour a whole bunch of those resorts, and um, all the DVC people. Um, we actually sat down with with a, a DVC representative, and he kind of laid everything out and explained everything to us. We uh, that meeting was kind of funny because we already knew a whole lot about DVC. We just needed to know like price breakdown and like terms and like stuff like that. Like we knew like what you get from DVC. We knew even kind of how the points work and even like renting points and stuff like that. Um, first right of refusal, like we we were on it. We just needed to know um, like where prices were going um, and stuff like that. So he was, he was able to answer a lot of those questions, which, which we were very happy he was able to do that. But yeah, those those were our three trips um, that we took in 2022. I don't think we're <clears throat> I don't think we're gonna take three trips again. Um, this this year was different because we had the proposal in there, and we kind of we made that a real quick, cheaper trip uh, trip to be able to do that. Um, but yeah, I think I think two trips a year for us is is going to be like what we want to do and and if we end up um actually doing dvc that'll make that even easier um and annual pass um kristen has been saying that as soon as annual pass opens up like we're buying it like we're not thinking about it like we're just gonna buy it so we'll have that in your future um but speaking of future um brian we're doing something uh, in this upcoming February, that should be kind of fun. You say it like nobody would know, because I've already been talking about it so much. 
we're going to right? Disneyland. Now you guys know. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going out there uh, in February, and I am so excited to get there. Um, we are spending some time, my family, we're going to spend some time in Hollywood the first day. Um, side note, I just watched this video that Disney put out last week on YouTube, and they go into Griffith Park briefly and show the um, the barn, the original Carolwood barn that the barn in Marceline is built after. And like I saw that barn, and I'm like, hey, I recognize that barn. <laughs> um, so it's like I've got all these places in the Hollywood area that I want to stop at, but I have family that I need to worry about too. So we're doing a Warner Brothers studio tour first and then we're going to be going and doing um we're going to drive by the walt disney studios we can't get in there but i'm going to drive by it anyway and then we're going to go over to um griffith park if we get time that's what i want to do but you know that family they they want to see the hollywood sign they want to see the walk of fame so i might have to spend some time doing that too but anyway We've got four days at Disneyland, and I'm so excited for that. Yeah, you guys have four. We, we actually have three. We have less day, days than you. Um, but I think the thing that, that Chris and I are most excited about is the Sweethearts Night event that we're going to. Yeah, that is going to be so much fun. Um, I can't wait to take my wife out on a date at Disneyland for the night. Um, I think that's going to be awesome. Yeah, I'm I'm super excited too. Uh and then just um to let all you guys know, I will actually be um meeting up with my sister while we are in Disney. Um and cuz uh she's on the Frozen National Tour and they're actually going to be in it's some city that's kind of right around Anaheim. <clears throat> um they're not performing in Anaheim or in LA really. Um but she's she's going to be there. She's going to take a couple of days off and so she's going to be hanging out with us too. So I'm excited to see her as well. Yeah, that'll be great. We should uh try to get some content with her. Yeah, I think I think that would be great. She can she can talk about her time on the road and uh uh if you know anything about my family, you know that my parents have been talking about the fact that she went on an, as Elsa recently. So she's played almost everything. Uh, my mom keeps ma- making a joke that all she has left to play is Sven. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, she's she's been killing it with Frozen, and um, yeah, I'm so happy for her. So, um, you know, the the Sweethearts Night is going to be a lot of fun. Um, I'm just looking forward to the history there. Mm-hmm. There is a tour that I have not purchased yet, but I would love to do that gets you up into Walt's apartment. Um, I'm still on the fence on it just because I've already spent so much money on other (laughs) things. Um, But yeah, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think it's going to be great to be hanging out with you at a Disney park for a change. Um, And, you know, that's one of the great things that we have to look forward to this coming year. Um, you know, we have some great ideas in store for this next year with the show. Um, one of those I've mentioned in the past where we want to, um, have some sort of get together and, you know, I'm kind of looking at the movie release schedule and I'm thinking maybe we try to couple a get together around one of the big movie releases. Um, we can go watch the movie together and then uh, find somewhere to hang out and and talk. Um, let me know, guys, if that's something you want to do. If you guys, if you want to get together and and watch this movie and hang out, I would love to do that. So let us know what you think. Yeah, that's a that's a great idea, and I think it would be good to just kind of like get it like a sense of community going, not just with uh, our podcast, but what just with people who are miles from Main Street in general. Uh, and I think starting in the Midwest, kind of like the most miles, <laughs> not the most miles from Main Street, but we're we're almost smack dab in the middle of both Disney parks. <laughs> so it's, yeah. it's hard to get to either one. Um, but yeah, 
I think that would be good to kind of get a bunch of Midwesterners together and talk about Disney and talk about how we are far away and people we like to watch and things that we do to spend the time away from the parks. So um, that would be good. And um, yeah, definitely let us know if that's something that you're interested in and we can do everything we can to push something like that. Yes. And um, we want to keep working with other podcasts. So if there's a podcast that you guys, I keep saying you guys, so if there's a podcast that you love and you want to see us work with them, let us know. We can reach out to them and see if they'd be interested. And um, we do have a list of some podcasts that we're going to work with uh, up here up in the next year. And um, I'm looking forward to that. We've met so many great people through podcasting already that um, it, it's it's fun to talk to new people. And I'm looking forward to doing that some more. Yeah. And so... Brian and I don't only just do this podcast. We have other things going on. Brian has his Thoughtful Spot, uh, which is his own podcast that he's putting together with Tammy. Yes, we're covering uh, current events, and we're also providing some family travel tips where we're going to give you uh, some tips on how to travel with your family. Um, I think that with Tammy and I have having kids and, and done Disney a few times with the family that we have a few things to say on that. So um, if you can come over and check out Brian and Tammy's thoughtful spot on your favorite podcast provider, <laughs> that <laughs> it would be great to have you there. Yeah. Brian is definitely cheating on me with his wife. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, speaking of cheating, you are doing a <laughs> vlog. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> With your significant other. Yeah, this is something we've we've wanted to do for a while. We just love watching vloggers. And I've always thought that Kristen would do well on a vlog. And we've already done a couple vlogs where she she just loves to buy stuff. I don't know if any of you guys have girlfriends or fiancés or wives that just like to buy stuff. But she loves to buy stuff, like, constantly. <laughs> So I've been trying to get her to, like, talk about the stuff that she buys. And so we finally, we did a couple of vlogs of the parks uh, at the, the trip that we just recently went to, and those went real well. And so now we're kind of branching into, like, home vlogs where we're talking about the Disney um, stuff that we've bought, like stuff from Shop Disney, but not just Stop Shop Disney, uh, other um, Disney places as well that we can get uh, merchandise from. Uh, but yeah, I think that's, that's kind of what our vlog is going to be around is, um, going to Disney, but then also, uh, Disney merchandise and the Disney things that we're doing, um, at home, uh, to kind of tide us over, uh, until we get to go to any of the parks. <clears throat> so we, yeah, we've already had a lot of fun doing it. Um, and so you can check us out at Magical Life. Uh, we've actually changed the name since uh, I've mentioned it on, on the podcast. It's actually Magical Life, and Magical is spelled with a K. <laughs> because Kristen and Kylo, we both have Ks. Um, so we, we thought that would be oh, cool. Oh, <laughs> I get it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you can find us on YouTube. We've got all of the social meds going on too, so you can find us pretty much anywhere. <laughs> awesome yeah it's been fun watching your videos so um you you, you might be in a couple <laughs> coming up soon yeah um so uh definitely come out to instagram and facebook and the tiktoks and check us out there we would love to have you following us um we are at miles from main street on those and uh Please come out and follow us. Yeah, we had a lot of fun this year, and we're going to have a lot of fun next year, and we're going to have fun the year after that until Brian gets sick of me. <laughs> <laughs> Never get sick. <laughs> um. <laughs> That's funny, because I think we're both slightly sick right now. <laughs> but like we always say, some live close. But others don't. So let's talk about it. We'll see you next time on Miles from Main Street. <laughs>